medicine, working with sharps is inevitable. Various sharps are used by nearly every medical department, especially in the operating room. Learning how to work safely with sharp objects is fundamental to medicine. Today, we'll review how to best minimize risk of injury to yourself and others during surgery. The operating room is a dynamic environment with success dependent on teamwork, communication, and orderliness. These three concepts are critical in ensuring each team members as well as the patient's safety. It's your responsibility as a member of the OR team to understand your role, how to conduct yourself appropriately, and how to follow important guidelines of sharp handling in the OR. Starting with suturing. After asking for a suture, the scrub nurse will pass a loaded needle driver to the operator with the needle unprotected. The needle is sometimes passed either to you if you'll be suturing or in front of you as the primary operator. If you did not ask for the needle, please don't reach for the loaded needle driver to pass it over to the surgeon. Rather, the scrub nurse will pass the unprotected sharp or loaded suture directly to the person who will use it. While this is happening, it's your responsibility to keep your hands away from the moving sharp to avoid any collisions. If you are the person suturing, then you may accept the needle driver from the scrub nurse and continue on to your task as it will be loaded and ready to go. After completing your task, you will then pass the needle driver with the needle now protected and clamped in the needle driver directly back to the scrub nurse. When passing it back, please communicate to the scrub nurse that you are passing back a protected or guarded needle. Perfect. Perfect, and I'm passing it back in a protected way. In the event that the needle is unprotected, it is your responsibility to clearly indicate to the nurse that you will be passing back an unprotected needle and ensure you announced that a sharp is coming back. Okay, now I'm going to pass an unprotected needle back to Ricky. Sharp coming back. Thank you, I have it. Again, if you're handling the sharp, then pass it back directly to the scrub nurse and not to someone in between. When dealing with hollow bore needles used for injections, there is no needle driver to protect or guard the needle while passing it. Typically, these needles will be left on a stand for the operator to pick up and uncap on their own. After uncapping the needle, it's important to ensure people know you're moving it. While injecting, it's the operator's responsibility to ensure no other team member's hands are in the region you are injecting. Following injection, the needle should not be passed. Instead, you can place the needle on the tray, announcing that there is a sharp on the tray. To safely recap the needle, use a one-handed technique of guiding the needle into the cap, which is setting on the tray. Once you've placed the needle into the cap, it can be clicked on using two hands. This is one way to safely recap a needle. In the OR, scalpel blades are loaded onto the scalpel by the scrub nurse and passed in a basin to the operator. Following use, only the operator can place the scalpel back in the basin. All scalpel work needs to be controlled and there should be no unnecessary hands involved when the scalpel is being used. In certain surgeries, there will be other sharps in the OR, such as saws, knives, drills, wires, or plates. Overall, be aware of your surroundings. Do not intercept passes between scrub nurses and the surgeon, and communicate clearly if you're passing or receiving a sharp. If your hands are not directly involved in the surgery, they are best kept flat on the drape and down. Ricky, can I get a 3 0 proline, please? Hey, you do not touch my tray. I pass the sharps. The operating room is a fun, exciting, and amazing environment with a great team in the operating room and elsewhere. We always must focus on ensuring patient safety as well as the safety of the team. These principles can be applied in any clinical setting 